no, because they lap something differently than the others, you know. Yeah. And so, uh, so well, speaking of matchup knowledge, well, not only is Siskui from online, yeah, in the first in the, in the first hand, and he plays a lot of online, so he's really used to Steve. He also plays a lot with dropped. Yeah, that's right. They're from the same country, so. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that he has like the most insane win rate against dropped. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, I, I, well, I'll check it later, but I, I, I think like I remember a something like. Oh, like yeah, something like that. I think it's, it, yeah, it was something just crazy, but <laughs> I, I, I'll check that. <laughs> something like uh, Didou Ferrex boy, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> On our level. <laughs> <laughs> but for the moment, starting off uh, quite even between the two. Yeah. And Ente is just gonna form uh, materials. Just he will try to, but uh, as Samus, you can put pressure just by charging your uh, your charge shot, you know. So he's throwing the the walls. Diamond is up though at only uh, 51 percent, so that's a good thing going for uh, for Ente. We'll try now to find the edge guard. A B will help Siskui to get out of that bad situation, but of course the mind card. Always helping in those uh, in those positions. Right. <laughs> the set count between uh, C Square and Trot is 26-0. Okay. Yeah. Well, so <laughs> he pl he played against Steve. Yeah, yeah. He knows the matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Trot. I miss him. Like he, he used to come to uh, Swiss tournament uh, last year. At yeah. The, uh, twice or, or for, three the, times. Uh, for the Caribana. For the Caribana and stuff like that. And, and so this year maybe. Didn't like Switzerland anymore, you know. Like yeah. He said, "Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to a different country this time." Trop is uh, he's such a cool dude. Yeah. Oh, oh no! no! The wrong way up here. Sadly, it's gonna cost Ante his second stock and yeah. uh, a two-stock lead for uh, for Siskui. Scared of the charge shot, maybe, but uh, in the way, in the end, it's probably a technical uh, technical mistake from uh, from Ante, losing in stock at 26% only. So that's unfortunate, especially against one of the best players in the world, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, how how can you bring that up, as Ente? He's gonna farm materials because he was a bit low. C squeeze now off stage. Doesn't have diamonds still, so needs to make the comeback, but needs to farm diamond first. And uh, really do. it's not happening for the moment. Mm. Good pressure by C Squee. Ente is so good at, at finding those grabs, but uh, it won't amount to much so far. Shot for the down air, down smash once again. Siski uh, managing Cisque. to get out of that. Yeah, he's getting he's getting through everything. It's mm -hmm. it's so impressive. Oh, a throw. He's gonna get grabbed once again, yeah. and uh, although Samus is heavy, she'll uh, end up over the top here. Yeah, that's gonna be enough. And these are going through the blocks. Interesting way to keep pressure, you know. Yeah. Uh, avoiding uh, the Steve player uh, mining resources, you know. That's uh, good pressure. And uh, there is cheering going on in the in the venue. I, I believe it's in the the losers matches. Yeah. Right behind the scene, up smash is gonna do it. Okay. Okay, just okay, like that. Ente. Just like that. Last talk for Siskui. Mm -hmm. We saw uh, against Destiny that uh, Ente is really good at uh, going back. You know, uh, playing with the deficit. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, that charge shot was nasty. Not enough, but yeah, what a read. And that's gonna be enough. Surely. That will do it indeed. 1-0 for Siskui, mm -hmm. the the giant player, who's uh, yeah, who looks sharp in the matchup. Yeah, yeah. As we said, uh, he he knows it really well. Yeah, the the, the way he avoids all those trap situations because that was caught the cost the in the end, you know. Yeah. And when he, when he was put at ledge, all those don't smashes, all those TNT setups and stuff like that, lost him a few stocks. And Siskui hasn't been even hit by by one of those. Yeah, it's not even costing him percent. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting back to center stage. He's getting back into his own game. You know, of projectiles, charging, charge shots, finding his hits, and could have been a really, really fast zero to death there with the <laughs> with, with the, the down, down, down there. Yeah, absolutely. I like the fact that uh, Ante is putting his block. You know, like three blocks on the yeah, ground and, and one up, one up. Yeah, which makes it even harder to destroy because you have to you have to. Climb on the wall first yeah. to, to get uh, rid of the block, and you're too far. If, if, if you want to stay on the ground, you're too far to, to reach him yeah. through the three blocks. So it's, it costs him a little bit more than just putting two or three blocks uh, straight away, but allows him a bit more time to mine resources. So in the end, I guess it's better for him to, to do it that way. Absolutely. And uh, even if you break the last block, you're then in a situation to get uh, anti-aired yeah. pretty hard. 
And we know how good Steve is at that, so... Oh, yeah. Up smash, up tilt. Anything uh, with up in the in the kit <laughs> for Steve is really, really good. Yeah, once again, it's uh, this block formation we're talking about. Yeah. But the air is going to be a good option to get through it. And mm. the charge shot taking the stock. C Squee once again with the first blood. He still got diamond right at the end before dying, so manages to craft that uh, that pickaxe now. Can use it to get the stock really, really early because at 97, of course, one good backyard ledge should be enough to kill. Yeah. But uh, still has to find it, and that's the issue because right now he's stuck at ledge. We'll find that Oof. out of the minecart. But no tech chase situation found by uh, by Ente. We he's still at the deficit and has to land now against Siski. We'll get back to ledge, but that's not a good position to be against Samus because, of course, with the down B, with the charge shot, that's going to be enough to take your stock. That's two stock leak once again for Siski and doesn't want to get rid of the lead for the moment. Yeah, Siski is looking really impressive at the moment. Mm -hmm. Really precise, really efficient as well. And that uh, ledge shot was super efficient. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Ente on, uh, on his part is not able, you know, to take that stock, to take that first stock off of Siski. And uh, yeah. no diamond, no resources. It's costing him at the moment. Has to find a way, Siski. Trying with the food a little bit, like finding that jab one, <laughs> waiting for the roll read. Yeah. We have seen him doing that quite a lot, but uh, you know, he knows that uh, he has a he has a lead and he can play with it. So oh, it's going to be enough. That's a three stock, Siski. Dominant patient, you know, two up to O against Ente. Ente would have to find a solution real quick if he wants to win that match. Damn. Cisco is looking so sharp in the mm -hmm. matchup that, uh, honestly, a three stock against Steve. Yeah. It's not. Uh, yeah, there is always that strange mind card yeah, or yeah, envy yeah. in the end that yeah, exactly. can cost you the, the stock. But exactly, no. uh, a back air at 30% or, yeah. or something. But <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a, it's a rare sight, and uh, Cisco is looking super dominant at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll see if he can take that set in a 3 0 fashion. And Tishori is not going to want that, but. Uh, does he have answers? Well, for the moment, that's going to be a good combo. 60% taken uh, by Siski, of course, now at ledge. And Vil is going to hit on the sour spot, so not that much percent and not close to dying yet. But uh, still, still good lead for, for Ente. Switching also the, the stage in Hollow and he will mine more interesting materials for, uh, for his uh, tools and also for blocks. So that's a good thing going for him. Uh, of course, you cannot ban uh, all the stages uh, that are interesting to Steve yeah. because uh, you have to make a choice between materials and the uh, layout of the stage. Absolutely. So, Cisco said, okay, maybe uh, it's fine if you mine materials anyway. I'm going to put you off stage. The stage is small. So, uh, I can edge guard you. I can let trap you just like that. And, uh, yeah, that's crazy. Like <laughs> those pivot grabs getting him so many percents and he's not being punished for it. So, yeah, that's. Uh, that's one way to climb back the, the lead that uh, Ente has. And uh, yeah, we saw how good Cisquee can be as the, at those uh, ledge traps. We know that it's uh, Samus' biggest strength and it works even against Team. <gasps> oh! <laughs> that was Catching the heights of the up B, that's crazy to get. That was a crazy bait, to yeah, be yeah. honest. I think it was uh, it was clearly intentional. He knew the... the yeah, and he was ready to punish. Exactly, know? he knew the, the up B was going out! Oh, and the up smash. And now Ente with a big lead. Mm -hmm. It's the first time in this set. Maybe he's up to something. He's yeah. gonna farm a little bit more materials. He's a bit low at the moment. He's gonna hit, get hit by the charge shot though. And the up tilt to send him back off stage. It's looking dangerous. The charge shot is fully Ooh. loaded. And Cisco knows that the bombinet is gonna explode here. That's Bonitas making work for the, the Spanish player. Yeah, but that's 46% already. Watch out, watch out Ente on the ledge trap. He has a diamond though. Yeah. Could go really fast with the diamond. The dash attack is going to send Sisqui off stage. We have a, a great wall here. Sisqui avoiding everything, Ooh. but he's going to get hit. Oh, nearly surviving here. Samus is way wow, working for yeah, her. But that, that down air is going to take it. And they're ready for the uh, anvil. Okay. Tries to play with the block. Does not help him in the end, but the up tilt into back air. Barely not connecting, barely not uh, killing, sorry. Uh, and uh, Siskui at the stock deficit still finding the 
Charge shot, almost killing on the other side of the stage now. Not letting the pressure go. He wants to get it, gets the fair, and that's gonna even up the stock. 1-1 one, one between those two. Sisqui, a game away from top 8. Yeah. Uh, stock away from top 8, Yeah, sorry. what stock deficit were you talking about? It's just, yeah, yeah. It's just gone like that. But Ente working to, to stay in that winner's bracket. Sisqui doesn't want to let that happen though. Find a good up B. And he now has a charge shot. Both of those players could take it at any point, but we see that uh, Ente is a bit low on resources. He's trying to farm them, <gasps> but Sisqui can get in. It's a dangerous no situation. Tech. Ente is going to get back in. Sisqui was ready for the roll, but Ente was able to shield just at the last minute. Oh my god, this is so close between those two players. But now at 87 persons, we know that uh, Steve is able to make your character explode. The anvil is ready, the minecart, everything is going off, but Sisqui patiently waiting <gasps> on the ledge. The minecart is ah, going to hit yeah. though, and that's going to take the stock. Ente putting one on the board for his name. It's 2-1 for the Spanish player against the German Ente. one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Minecart charge at the end, uh, powered up by the uh, gemstone, of course. He's going to kill. So, yeah, we, we saw Ente having a lead most of the game. Sisqui crawled his way back into the game, almost won in the end. But that was so close, Ente coming in clutch in that game 3. He has to keep up that momentum in game 4 because he cannot let anything go past Siski because he's going to take every opportunity, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll see about that in that game 4 here on Pokemon Stadium 2. We are ready, ladies and gen gentlemen. Ente fighting for his life in the winner bracket. And Siski trying to prove how good he is against <laughs> Steve. We, we saw just that here. With that, uh, that very good edge guard, he's gonna find a conversion here of the the grab. Did you see that minecart away? Like I do not want to deal yeah. about that, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you, okay, you spike me. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, away. I'm like, away. <laughs> I'm away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, people. Said Ente, and yeah. uh, oh my God, this is looking super tough. 127 to zero mm -hmm. so far in that first talk. Almost to zero to death for the moment, yeah. but. Manages to find uh, an up tilt, and that's going to be good percent by uh, by Ante, of course. 60, uh, 64 taken now uh, by the Steve player, by the German Steve player. Will mine a few more materials, and Siski may be letting him uh, mine a bit too much because now he has the opportunity to, to mine cart, he has the opportunity to build walls as well, and he's going to get the diamond pretty soon, you know. And uh, probably not going to use it for this stock, but uh, we'll have it ready exactly Here right now is. for the next one. So. Oh, he's gonna craft it. Here Interesting. It is. At one seven. Okay, why not? I guess. Oh, waits for the adage, and that's perfect. And diamond crafted in the end paid off because yeah, that's what allowed him to get that kill at 97. Absolutely, and he has a second one for the next talk already. So that's uh, that's looking dangerous for Sisqui at the moment. It could go to game five, but Sisqui saying otherwise so far with that mm -hmm. back air equalizing the stocks. Yeah, and, and he's gonna craft the diamond. Yeah, Diamond is back on the table already. He had time to uh, mine another one. So, of course, he's in a good spot right now, even though uh, percent-wise, he's still uh, at a 60% deficit. But, you know, he's taking his time. He knows that any good up tilt can even up the, the matchup. Uh, he can even up the, the percent. So, well, he's just going to wait. He's going to mine another Diamond, which he will be ready for the for the next talk. Yeah, no, and, uh, not only mining Diamonds, but also uh, a lot of few good materials. Yeah. <laughs> To craft, uh, craft minecarts. Yeah, that was close. A close call. Mm -hmm. Very good up B by Sisqui here. Landing. Now trying to find, to find his way in. And uh, Sisqui playing defensively. Knows that, well, in the end, he had all the opportunity to mine all of that. So I can let him uh, play his game now. Uh, he's he's going to have diamond anyway, so I'm going to have to deal with that. I'm just going to play patiently. I'm going to find my hits. And uh, that hubby uh, to combo break, for example, will help him almost get that second stock. He needs to keep his advantage, he needs to keep his uh, stock lead because for the moment Ente almost finding the, the backyard ledge will not kill yet and will get caught by the dash attack. Siski keeping his cool, Siski keeping his calm and finding the stock first. Yeah, Imperial Siski at the moment, but <laughs> we know fun. that it could go very, very quickly with Steve, especially with the diamond. Sisqui is not safe by any mean, although he finds a very good conversion here yeah. of the charge shot. It's going to be a good 53 persons and no materials on Steve. Desert, once again, once again, very good tool to get through the blocks, as you pointed out earlier, and avoiding the minecarts once again. But uh, the fair is going to connect for Ente. And we now have a little edge guard situation, ledge trap situation, sorry. 
Oh, Sisqui finding a good charge shot once again. Sisqui has been connecting so many of those mm -hmm. in that set. And no materials for Ente. No materials. You're in a ledge trap situation against Samus. What can you do? Back here directly in the face will be enough. That's going to be 3 1 for Siski. Last qualified in top 8 winner side. Ente going down to the losers. And uh, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, yeah, it surely is going to be a problem. We're going to have a, a lot of um, very close matchups, uh, probably very close sets uh, when it comes to qualifying in that loser part of the bracket. Yeah. For the winner sides, ladies and gentlemen, we are set here today. We have our four players in yeah. top eight winner sides. Sisqui, that we just saw, mm -hmm. Tariq, mm -hmm. Leon, mm -hmm. and Cosmos. Mm -hmm. Those are the four players who are going to be competing on the winner side of things. 